What's going on, everybody? Thanks for joining me in the studio here. I've got some stuff to show you um, that will improve your Baofeng station. Um, your HT is what I'm talking about. Basically, just some accessories, things that you can do to get a lot more out of your HT. Um, these just happen to be for the Baofeng, but a lot of this stuff I can, I'm sure I'm going to share with you. You can use it for other HTs and whatnot, but, um, I've got one more thing here. Where is it? I got so much crap around here right now. Um, that's okay. I'll find it later. But, uh, yeah, basically what I want to show you guys is Oh, good. You know, some some good ideas, things you can do to add to your station, to your Baofeng. Um, say you're going to use it as a, a base station, and you don't have a lot of money to go out and buy power supplies and mobile radios or base units or whatever. There's a lot of things you can do to really improve this thing um, that will uh, help you get out there. So what the what motivated motivated me to do this is um on facebook somebody was asking about their like what radio should i get because to you know because my baofeng sucks and they didn't understand that there's a lot of things that you can do and um not just with the radio but accessories like different antennas and all that but i'm going to talk about some settings in here i'm talking about some accessories and um but you be able to use this in a in a base unit setup um, and be pretty successful in a lot of ways so I gotta go find this one more thing be right back okay I got it um so number one thing is a stand of some sort now this thing is just a cell phone stand um, just basically just like that or you can put it sideways or whatever but with the bow fangs, you can do this, set it up like that. Just turn this up and use the little clip on the back and use that as a stand for your radio, for your HT. Now, this will also fit an extended battery on there too. I'll show you that in a minute. But yeah, number one thing is, I'm not number one, but first thing is some sort of stand and then I've used, um, in the past, I've used uh, bookends, metal bookends, and I just drilled it, drilled a hole and drilled it to a piece of plywood and just kind of bent the, the bookend back like this, you know, like that. And I was able to um, use, like, use it for like four different HTs um, for a uh, field day kind of situation. But a bookend might work. All kinds of different things they actually do have designated stands but this is like $13 compared to 25 bucks so that's number one thing um, number two is going to be a speaker mic and this one is my favorite one that I've come across and I've, I've got speaker mics for pretty much all of my radios uh, Yesus, Elenco's, Anytones uh, this is Anytone I'll put a link down in the description uh, for this one. This thing is awesome, but it has a really nice long cord on it. So, I mean, it'll stretch really far and it's good kind of rubberized, um, very heavy duty. Good solid click, um, really good uh, belt clip on there, but attach your speaker mic to your radio and um, that will give you much better well significantly better audio um, and um, flexibility while your while your radio is on your stand you can do that and then you've got your speaker mic like that and the speaker mic um, this thing will turn like this and you can uh, clip it to different things. A lot of times what I will do is just attach 
the speaker mic just to this thing like that there's your little little portable setup for a base unit so we're getting getting a little nice little base unit set up here and um, so next let's go with uh, extended battery now Baofeng has been out quite a while since like 2012 and they've got all kinds of different accessories but um, one of the absolute best ones is these extended batteries I forget this one's uh, oh shoot I forget what this is I'll have to mark that down but um, you can take the let me switch here you can take the uh, stock battery off this is just basic stuff you guys I just don't remember I think it's a 2800 milliamp battery and then um, just slides right on there like that quite a bit bigger and better setup and you'll get a lot of life out of that thing so um, what we'll do is put this on the stand I know I'm kind of clumsy I got a million things here and then we'll put this speaker mic back in to the radio so there's that so we're getting closer We've got a nice little setup here now one thing um, another really cool accessory is um, option is you can't really see it right here let me try and get back over here these extended batteries oops wrong one these extended batteries come with a hole right there you can see it right there uh, hopefully you can uh, that's for a charging you can charge directly into your extended battery now I'll put a link down below for this thing too these are from a brie.com uh, but they are extended battery chargers and these are USB super cool man opens opens up so much flexibility for these things um, and what I do is uh, I just charge it a lot of times if I'm not doing anything I'll just charge it with one of these deals you just plug your USB into one of these this is Patriot power Patriot or four Patriots but yeah you just plug that in like that and then you've got your uh, um, port here you just plug this in now you can you can plug this in and use your cell phone chargers for USB chargers and um, for your cell phones and all kinds of stuff so let me get this in here so now it shows up red as if you're charging so um, you can see that little setup there's a lot going on there but this is portable extremely portable and I think this is a 10,000 milliamp this would charge up your Baofeng twice at least and probably your cell phone so you've got your stand you've got your speaker mic um, you've got your extended battery you've got your USB charger and you can buy one of these things or you can uh, just plug it into a, uh, a wall socket for your USB charger so um, those are really cool little things so the next thing I'm gonna go over to the web and get these out of the way here I'll show you guys this one this is really cool let's transition over to this right here so this is uh, I'm not affiliated with any of these things you guys I'm just sharing with what I like doing and some of the stuff that I have um, this is n9 tax labs and um, this is a slim Jim antenna dual band 2 meter 70 center centimeter slim Jim and you can get it with a 10 foot or 16 foot cable and well basically what it is it's like a, a TV antenna ladder line 
and then you choose which connector you want down here and it's like gives you a choice this here is SMA male female 259 and in male so this is what it is right there and this thing is awesome um, I have the uh, 16 foot one here and I think yeah this is the SMA male um, I think the bow fangs are opposite but I got these I got this one for my uh, for my any tone uh, KG UV 90 mate setup because I've got two mates and um, for my emergency comm setup and then this this antenna fits those so I think I got the 16 foot cable here but it's really dirt sturdy and uh, lightweight and durable I thought about building one let me get to the other other uh, view here you can kind of see it more up close you see how durable this thing is man super super well built that's why I didn't I didn't build one and for $27 um, I don't think I could buy the materials maybe maybe you could I guess but man the workmanship is really good and um, it's not that expensive so a lot of times what I hear because I'll listen to different nets, uh, ham radio nets, people checking in. A lot of times you got Joe Blow in his basement <laughs> trying to check in. Oops, trying to check in. I'm out of practice. I haven't been, done videos in quite a while. But I got a million things going on here too. <laughs> but uh, you got Joe Blow in his basement on his little bow fang in his easy chair and in a concrete basement trying to check into a repeater 20 miles away and complaining he can't get in everybody's stepping on him or he can't get you know can't get heard well duh you think about it i i think my personal opinion is one of the part cool parts about the amateur radio hobby or even gmrs um, for that matter is to try and have the best station you can within your means you don't have to go crazy but the best sounding station, the best signal, um, you know, constantly add things to improve your station. And one of the things is to get off your little rubber duck, um, their little rubber duck antenna here, your stock rubber duck, and do something. Um, this one, ha this is the Nagoya, and there's a, uh, here's a bigger Nagoya. I've got these two. That's also something that you can do but i'm talking about basically for a stationary uh base uh base unit set up here so these things are always an option and that would help quite a you know significantly over your your rubber duck i mean look at that it's crazy so the nagoyas are a good option um but if you ended up putting running this thing off of your uh, HT here and you got 16 foot say your your chair his easy chair is downstairs and um, he's got a table next to him you run this thing down the, down the wall and up and you just hang this ladder line from a cord or even just drape it just like maybe a little coat hanger or a, just a piece of cord hang it from your curtain rod and you have a hugely improved um, station your signal is going to be significantly better and you'll be able to get in nobody will com be complaining having you repeat your call sign three four five times to try and get it because you're just barely breaking the squelch on a repeater I mean that's ridiculous so yeah if you if that's all you got fine but there's really not much reason uh, not to to upgrade some of this stuff so um the N9TAX uh, uh, Slim Jim is awesome. So, also um, this thing here is kind of cool. There's um, all kinds of different things you can do. I just pulled this one out. This isn't really for a base unit setup, but it's for a mobile. Or uh, like this power supply back here also has a uh, 12 volt receptacle, so you can run it off a power supply. Um, but uh, 
you got that too. Now, something that you can do to the Baofeng itself, uh, I made a video over the over this about this, and it's actually addressing the squelch issue that all almost all Baofengs have. I I haven't had one yet that hasn't had this so this is actually within the settings of the radio so let's transition over here to chirp and when you upload your radio or up upload from radio to chirp you go into um settings over here and here's memories and settings right so when you go to settings you scroll down and click on service setting here's basic settings advanced settings so i'll just click down here their service settings and this is your squelch and each uh, squelch zero each one up through one through nine is what the Baofeng has um, each one has a value assigned to it well this one um, I'll show you the difference here uh, and the bottom here is UHF the top nines VHF the bottoms UHF so the top I already set I just went through and set it. So the squelch level one is six, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, and 85. Just as, as an example. Now, when I uploaded this radio for the first time, squelch on UHF was the same up here. Uh, number one was six, number two was 12, number three was 15, four was 19. 25, 30, 36, 50, and 63. So it's not really spread out very good. So like um, I've had Baofengs where uh, I upload um, from or download from radio and my upper uh, squelch levels, the values were in the 40s or 50s. So you think Okay, well, I'm going to turn my squelch up to level nine because I'm getting tons of interference. Well, it might be from the factory. It might be lower than squelch eight. I mean, it's, there's just no uh, no telling what you get. I don't think I've had two of them that are same uh, that are the uh, are the same. So anyhow, all you do is go in here and change these values. Let's go back up here. I'm just going to put these the same as I am the top ones. Uh, real quick 25 let's do 35 we get get somewhere close and each um yours yours your needs may vary from where you're at um depending on if you're like in a city or a place where there's lots of interference or whatever um i'm out in the countryside um and so there's really not much interference compared to in town when I go in town my radio's doing all kinds of crazy stuff because all the pagers and whatever so I would have to turn the squelch up but one last thing on there um, so you see number nine I've got to 85 well on the article that um, I found this on it said that um, once you get to about 100 to 105 it cuts out all signals so it's good to spread it out um, consecutively increase your values but remember 105 is going to cut everything off so uh, maybe experiment and see see what you uh, uh, your needs are for your your area so anyhow there's uh, there's a few things for you guys um, it's pretty cool it's a good little setup and basically what you could do is you got your extended battery on there you could run this 10,000 milliamp thing along with it and you might not have to charge this radio for weeks I mean really or ever if you're just running this with it I mean because it's going to charge up solar power plus you got this plugged into there or you can just do it when you need to so Anyhow, there it is, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think, and I'll post all these things down below, and you can uh, pick them up. None of them are super expensive. I think the, the latter line 
antenna is like 27 bucks. I forget what these are. You can find these all over the place, but this for Patriots has been a really good one. Not a single problem with this thing yet, but uh, like I said, no affiliates or whatever, but um, I don't know these people, but uh, good products. So anyhow, thanks for watching. We'll have a good one. We'll see you next time.